What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're doing a movie review of the Justice League movie. So we just got done seeing it, and so we're going to do a review of it. So we're going to do first part spoiler free, then second part we'll talk about more in depth details I guess with stuff. So of course the spoiler free stuff to start. Um, so I would say overall, you know, the big question is, is the movie good? I would say it's decent, it's not a horrible movie, I'd say it's probably ranks just under Wonder Woman out of the movie so far. It was a really fun movie. That's the thing I took most of, out of it. That it was just a really fun movie. Getting to see all of the Justice League characters on the screen together. Or most of them at least. Um, but just getting to see that and then use you know their different powers and stuff like that. It was just fun to see it on a movie screen for once. Um, there is some stuff that could be improved which I'll talk about in like the spoiler stuff. Um, but I just thought it was overall just a really fun movie, and it's not horrible. I would say it's a little bit like the Batman vs. Superman, where to me it kind of jumps around. I don't know how to describe it. To me, I would say jumps around. Like, it moves really quick from part to part without, like, you know, big expl or not explanation, but, like, storytelling stuff. I don't know how to describe it. But where Justice, or Batman vs. Superman was like long and drawn out this movie is shortened down so I feel they just took all the like extra stuff and just threw it out just to make the movie shorter because I know people complain about Batman versus Superman being so long so I feel they just like I said just cut it out and stuff um bro what were your opinions I liked it it was a really good movie um I'd probably say it was behind Wonder Woman too yeah I think the only thing I think why Wonder Woman was so much better is because it had more storytelling of like a prolonged, you know, beginning to end ver version of her story. Where this, like I said, it jumped around and we, you know, all of a sudden this character was in and this character and they just kind of like appeared and were thrown into the movie. And I would say personally for me, I thought that some of the characters were hurt by not having a movie already. Like my particulars were Flash and Aquaman. I just felt something weird about them. Um, but where I felt, you know, I knew Wonder Woman's story. Batman, you know, is different, but we know Batman's story really well. So it's like you don't have to know the Ben Affleck's Batman's version. You can kind of just, you know, pull from all the other Batmans and know where he's coming from. And like, so we know Wonder Woman's background and they reference that a lot. So if you've seen the Wonder Woman movie, you'll get the references and stuff. Um... And so, of course, we then get a surprise appearance, which we'll talk about in the spoilers. Not really a surprise, but not really shown or known if it was going to be in there or not. Um, what else can be said? Um, the graphic, or like the CG and stuff, wasn't always the best, especially with... I can't really say it, I guess. I don't know if I could. Um, one of the characters that they did some CG eye on... Well, I guess we'll just say a spoiler alert, so if you don't know this, whatever, Superman is in it, so hopefully if you're watching this, you've seen the movie already, but Superman's in the movie, and so they had the whole stuff about um, Henry Cavill, I think that's his name, uh, being in the movie, like, bringing back for, like, reshoots and stuff, well, he was in another movie, and so he had a mustache, so they had to CG or take off the mustache because the other movie wouldn't let him shave it off, and so his mouth is just really weird in a lot of scenes of the movie, like, you can tell when he they redid the scenes and stuff because his mouth just looked super weird and creepy, especially at the very beginning. They, there's like this weird like video camera footage and his face is just all messed up and weird. Like it was just strange. Like they the CG like I said wasn't the best and a lot of like the action scenes you could tell were completely fake. But it just, you know, enhanced, I guess, the movie. Not enhanced, but, like, made the movie bigger and stuff. Because, you know, this is a comic book coming to life. So it doesn't have to be all realistic and everything. Um, but I don't know what else to say. Oh, I guess we can just say, so the character, so, of course, Batman, which is the same Ben Affleck. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't really enjoy it, too. Wonder Woman was good again, I think. Um, Flash was probably the funny character out of the movie. And I know people said, you know, he steals a lot of scenes and stuff. But, um, like I said, I, for me, without, a, like, really much of, a, like, a background movie or stuff, something to get used to him or know him better, I just thought he was just kind of weird. Um, Aquaman, which um, I feel, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the Aquaman story, but I feel they kind of mess with some stuff with him. I'm not exactly sure what they were going for on him, but I didn't feel a strong connection with Aquaman. I thought he was, to me the worst character out of the thing, even though I was super excited about him. I just didn't enjoy him much in the movie, but that's why I'm hoping once he gets his own movie, it'll rectify that and stuff. 
Um, I personally really enjoyed Cyborg. I didn't expect to because when I saw the like commercial and stuff, his CG of like his half face stuff to me looked absolutely horrible. But in the movie, I liked his like character's importance and what his character did throughout the movie. It made me enjoy him a lot more. And with the last one and some parts in this one, we kind of pretty much get what happened to him and stuff. Uh, Steppenwolf was a little weird. Um, I don't know how I feel about him, obviously, since I don't know who he was before this movie. I don't have a reference of him, but I just thought he was kind of a weird villain. But he wasn't horrible, and he posed a threat and everything. Um, so I guess it wasn't that bad. And... I don't know of much of any other characters. Uh, we had Superman, obviously. Like I said, he was just normal Superman. Um, just so, like, the new Jim Gordon. Oh, yeah, the new Jim Gordon, which I forget the guy's name. J.K. Simmons. Yeah. I mean, there's, he had a few scenes, so we didn't really see much of him. But, I mean, he's a good Jim Gordon for what Gordon needs to be. But, like I said, overall, the movie was enjoyable. And it's really fun of a movie. But overall, like, storyline-wise story and... Um, see like uh visuals and characters stuff like that it's yeah probably drags the movie down as in doesn't make it that good of a movie but this but it's just fun that's all i can say um so i did you have anything else you want to add non-spoilers um i just want to say that aquaman i thought was a really well done character yes yeah, so I, I know you enjoyed him yeah i'm ready for his uh movie to come out and then really out of characters I, when superman shows up in the movie he has this weird like british accent to him well, i well, think that's what henry cavill well yeah he yeah. is but it's weird because it wasn't noticeable in the other movies but yeah he's like standing there talking to bruce and it was very evident in that yeah, they must he must have just not noticed or paid like you know focused enough on that or whatever to try and hide it but I think now we'll move into the spoiler section. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, um, we're going to talk about spoilers. So if you want to leave, go ahead. But if you've seen it, you want to you know, hear what I have to say and stuff. So we'll get into that now. Um, so, so the story with the Justice League is, or the, around this whole thing, is Steppenwolf trying to con find the three mother boxes, which I believe was the mother box used in the F Batman vs. Superman to bring out Doomsday. I can't, no. Okay, I couldn't remember if he was or not. Um, but yet they reference that whole thing a lot with the use of it because they use one of the mother boxes that Cyborg has because the dad used Cy the, one of the mother boxes to give Cyborg his robot skin to fix his son that got in like a... Ex he said an explosion? I thought it was like a car crash or something. But I don't know. Um, but that's how Cyborg got all his robot stuff and how it like morphs and stuff when he needs it. Which that's why I thought was cool. How his suit would just like form stuff. Because it talked about how his suit was always transforming to like make it better. And stuff. So he was able to fly and then like form a gun and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I enjoyed with Cyborg and everything. But they have a cy uh, mother box. Then um, I yeah. forget what it's called. Themyscira has a, a mother box that the... Um, uh, Amazons are protecting so where Wonder Woman came from and then the Atlanteans have one so where Aquaman came from and stuff and um, so they all have one that's you know kind of being protected or whatever but Steppenwolf comes and is able to fight and kill people and take the mother boxes and eventually form them all together but we did get a flashback I don't remember who told it or where it came from, whatever, but it was a story of the or how the mother box were separated, and I believe it was on Themyscira, it looked like that um, Steppenwolf first came down, and he was forming the mother boxes together, like this was, you know, thousands of years ago, and it was like reforming Themyscira or whatever with whatever his thing does, because said something about like reforms his planet or something, or tries to turn into his planet, or Apocalypse something like Apocalypse is oh, okay. the planet. Okay, so Apocalypse. But there's a war with the Amazons, the Atlanteans, and I think it said humans, too, yes, as well, like a humans. human race. And then it also showed uh, the gods, so there we saw probably... It looked like Zeus, uh, Athena, possibly Ares. So yeah, so a couple of... Those, I didn't know if they were actual superheroes, or if they were... Because I think it was Wonder Woman telling the story, because she said, and the gods... 
or someone along that lines, and said, and the gods, and it showed them. So I didn't know if they were some other superheroes that I wasn't familiar with or they were the actual gods. Because if you saw Wonder Woman, we saw the gods shown in the whole story of Ares and stuff. Um, but so they all fought. And then there was also Green Lantern of some sort. We don't know which Green Lantern it was, but there was one, but it got taken out by Steppenwolf and lost its ring, and the ring, I think, flew off somewhere. So that's probably leading to our next Green Lantern, which I was hoping would show up in the movie. Like, I thought if any the character showed up at, like, at the end as a surprise or whatever, it would have been a Green Lantern, since that's, like, the next real member of the Justice League. Um, but there never was one besides that one in that foot, uh, little clip or whatever. But those people are all able to beat Steppenwolf and send him back to wherever, but now he's come back to claim all of the Mother Cubes and reform uh, Apocalypse and stuff. So he's obviously the main bad guy, and so we have, the, like I said, the introduction, which is just weird, because, like, something happens, Batman uh, finds the a parademon, or something like that, and kills it, and it leaves a symbol of three cubes, so that's the whole mother box thing, and so he's trying to figure it out, and they've seen the symbol everywhere, and so he takes it, I think, as like a... Um, signal that something's coming so he starts to form the group and of course he has uh, Wonder Woman and then uh, Flash, he goes to get Flash like you see in the commercial there's nothing different really between there he just kinda knows, shows up and gets Flash on the team he goes to the place like it shows in the trailer for Aquaman and that's just what I thought was weird you know <clears throat> just the whole stuff with Aquaman I don't know it was just weird to me and then they have to like sort of like try and convince or whatever cyborg to join them and then of course they bring back superman so they think about what um the mother box did the cyborg and what it could do to bring stuff back or whatever and so bruce is like we need to do this on superman he's the only thing that could help us take out steppenwolf and stuff so they go unbury his body take him put him in the pool like they um like luther or lex luther did to um, Zod. Zod, yeah. And brought him, but turned him into Doomsday. But they used it on Superman and bring him back to life. But of course he starts off bad, I would say, because he starts fighting with all of them because he doesn't recognize who they are. But they use Lois Lane to come in. So she's kind of like the Martha version in this movie um, that kind of breaks Superman out of his anger against like Batman stuff so from Batman vs. Superman. But they use him and it brings him back to normal and stuff. And so then he joins and fights with them. And they end up beating Steppenwolf in the end and fighting off all the parademons and saving a city or a little town type thing and stuff. Um, is there anything else you want to add on? I'm trying to think of stuff before we get to the end. Um, no, I don't think there is. Yeah, I can't really think of anything that was like... I do have a question for you, though. You did mention about the Green Lantern showing up in the film. Yeah. Which Green Lantern would you like to see? The Hal Jordan? Or... I'd probably say it'd be Hal Jordan since he's, like, the most popular. Because they whatever. were talking about possibly doing a Jon Stewart. Yeah. But... My options would be a Guy Gardner, just because he's very low-key in the Green Lantern. Yeah, I just feel with the way they're set up now, like with the characters that they have, it would be Hal Jordan, since he's like the most common. Him or Jon Stewart, to me, would be the most likely. But I would like to see a Guy Gardner, or possibly a dual partnership of Green Lanterns with the... Uh, Simon Baez and Jessica Cruz, which are the current Green Lanterns in the comics, I think that would be cool to bring in two at one point to the Justice League. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I assume they'll just start with one, but you never know if they'll, which one they'll choose and which one they'll focus the story around. You just don't know. And of course, we have all sorts of other characters like Martian Manhunter, um, Hawkman, and Hawk Girl, possibly. Um, Shazam. Yeah, Shazam, which they're doing the movie of that, we know, and the character got an ounce of Zachary Levi, I think his name. Um, so he could be coming, I'm just trying to think of the most popular Justice League members. But, um, so all those will be coming in at some point, which I assume then this all leads to Dark Side. I don't know when. I haven't heard of anything. Like, we know with Marvel, they kind of, like, had the whole big, like, plan type thing let out or whatever of where they're going to with the Infinity Wars stuff. But with just or with the DC universe, whatever, I haven't heard anything of what they're doing exactly. Where when we're gonna get Darkseid brought in? Because he's obviously gonna be the big villain, like 
Thanos is for the Marvel Universe. Um, but I don't know of anything else to add to the movie besides, like I said earlier, that it is a really fun movie. So, like I said, getting to see all those characters on a screen together, fighting with each other, or, you know, fighting all together against Steppenwolf and all the parademons and stuff. I thought that it was just fun in that aspect and getting to see all the different characters and personalities interact with each other and their different use of powers and stuff. Um, so I did want to mention there are two then the two end credit scenes. Uh, so the first one with Superman and Flash racing each other, that's a throwback to the comics where they had a race. I think they raced around the world or something like that. And I want to say Superman won. I don't remember exactly. Um, but they had a whole joke where if Flash lost, he'd have to buy him all brunch because he brings up some weird brunch thing at the beginning of the... or when you first see him. Um, but I just thought that was fun and interesting that they threw back to the comics. And then at the very end, there's an like very in credit scene and it shows um what's supposed to be lex luther in a jail but it turns out it's some other guy that's been replaced by him or whatever and then it shows lex luther on a big giant boat and he's met with dark uh deathstroke and um he said something about uh i want to the make heroes a, have formed a team we need a form yeah a that team. we need a league of our own type thing so that's what the legion I want to say Legion of Doom, but that's not right, is it? No, that's right. It is. So, um, and of course, it had uh, Dark Side, or I always say that wrong. Deathstroke take his helmet off in it. Um, it's Joe Manganiello, I believe, and so he had the eye patch and the short, like gray hair and, or white hair, whatever. So it does look a lot like the actual um, Deathstroke, of, or yeah, Deathstroke of yeah. Um, what's his name? Wade Wilson. Yeah, Wade Wilson. Or no. Slade, Slade, Wade is, is dead. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, that's why I wanted to mention it. Because, yeah, it's not like off of Deadpool or whatever. Even though he was first and then Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool name, is a joke of yeah, Deathstroke. A ripoff of Deathstroke, yeah. Um, so it's fun that they brought him, which it was rumored and it was shown that he was going to be in a Batman movie. It showed a, there was like a old picture that leaked of um, the from like a footage for the new Batman movie that's going to supposed to be coming out. I think it's been scrapped by now, but you never know. But it showed him, so we knew he was in the universe. And so it was fun to show him there at the very end and that they're going to be forming the Legion of Doom. And so I just thought that was a fun thing, two fun things to close out the movie with that, again, make the movie even more fun. So if you just want to have a fun time, you can go see this movie and enjoy it. But I don't know of anything else we have to add on to this. Um, I can't think of anything... So that'll probably be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the movie down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite character was. And if you enjoyed the movie or you absolutely hated it. Just let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more reviews. And we'll see you next time.